From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. The end of the World Cup does not mean the end of international soccer competitions in Brazil for 2014. The sport continued in Brazil as robotic teams from around the world sought to win their own championship. Technology students at the University of Pennsylvania were among those taking part in the international event known as the RoboCup. The competition was held in the coastal city of Jao Pessoa. Watching robots play soccer is similar to watching small children play the game. Their movements on the field are unsure. The players fall down a lot. Jen Chow Lee is a creator of one RoboCup team. He said he tried to make sure a robot can sense the position of the goal, the ball, and itself. He also tried to improve the walking and kicking abilities of the robots. Chin Ha is another robot team creator. She said the abilities of the robots improve every year. Ms. Ha praised the United States team. She said its robots recognize the colors green and red. She said the robots also choose their moves on the playing field. She said they do not require orders from their human creators. And she said U.S. team robots communicate with each other. Christopher Akatsuka is a member of the U.S. team at RoboCup. He said RoboCup is a competition of software. And he said the competition is really exciting. The U.S. won RoboCup championships in 2011, 2012, and 2013. The events have taken place in Mexico, the Netherlands, and Turkey. In 2014, Australia defeated Germany to win the competition. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal.